Dear friends, we're here assembled in the presence of God to unite Ben Tweedy and Bria Sherema in marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is a firm relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his mother and father and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one in flesh. Who gives the bride to be married? I, her brother-in-law, and we have a family. The home is built upon love, which virtue is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is, it is not irritable or resentful, and does not rejoice in wrong, but rejoices in right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, and love abide in these three, but the greatest of these is love. Marriage is companionship which involves mutual commitment and responsibilities. You will share like responsibilities and the joys of life. When a companion shares a sorrow, the sorrow is had. When a companion shares a joy, the joy is doubled. You are exhorted to dedicate your home to your Creator, take His Word to Bible for your guide, give loyal devotion to His Church, thus uniting mutual strength to these two most important institutions, living your lives as His willing servants, and true happiness will be your temporal and eternal reward. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come today, Lord, just thanking You for the day You've given us. And Lord, as this couple comes today to be united as one, I just ask that You'll walk in the center of their lives each and every day, giving them guidance and direction. I ask now, Lord, that you wrap your arms around them and bless them from this day forward as one. And Lord, I ask these things in Jesus' most holy and precious name. Amen. <coughs> ben, will you take free to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and self-fulfillment as a person? into her useless in God's kingdom, and will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? I will. Priya, will you take Ben to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and self-fulfillment as a person, into his useless in God's kingdom, and will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and be true and well to him so long as you both shall live. Yes, I will. Amen. Since the beginning of time, the wedding ring has been an outward symbol of wedded bliss, a never ending circle symbolizing the never ending vows which are taken, which may be broken on and in the sight of God only by death. As a token of these vows, you should give and receive the ring. Then will you take this plea, place it on Priya's finger, and repeat after me. Priya, with this ring. Priya, with this ring. I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Will you take this, please? Place it on Benjamin's finger. Make you that for Then, with this ring, then with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Marriage.